This is a certified hood classic. Bruh. It's just another Manning Monday. It is. It really, really is. I can't believe it. It's Monday already. That was a quick weekend for you as well. Yeah. Good Lord, was it ever. I was like, wow, it's over. I didn't do anything, by the way, all weekend, which was great. Uh, real quick, a couple of things. Uh, over on We Got a Case, that's the channel where you see nothing but case stuff. That's it. 4,000 subscribers over there. Thank you guys so much. That means the world to us. And uh, just just keep it. Oh, I wish. Just uh, how's your internet at your house, Lisa? Do you mind a couple of morons coming over for a few days? <laughs> it, hottest day of the year here, I'm pretty sure today. The uh, excessive heat warnings uh, in effect. I was telling Mike, at 8 o'clock this morning, 87 degrees it was. It's uh, like a blow dryer <laughs> as soon as you walk so, out the door. Yeah, it's it's bad, in the face. Right? It's like, I wish I could smoke in the house because I just walk outside. It's like, uh, and so as you'll see, uh, Creed's going to be sitting in the dark today. I, I don't, I, I, I'm sorry. It's just, it is so hot in here. It's so bad. Oh, so bad. It's not, not 15 or 14, excuse me. 15 will be next. Can't count. 15 is the number after that. Thank you, Miss Nutty Nut. Because you guys also being part of our little group for members only that's a lot of fun we have a lot of fun doing those uh we got one tonight creed for we got a chase that's a chase exclusive channel where you'll see us talking about chases not just chases though good stuff good stuff well, now uh before anybody yells and says you watched this about a year and a half ago okay <laughs> yeah i understand that this was sent in by one of you guys and said look you guys watch this, but I feel like you didn't listen, which is a possibility. Anything's possible back in Canada. Well, I know you're missing the Texas heat already. Oh, I do. So, um, yeah, we're going to cruise through this, uh, get some very serious accusations, Cree. Or well, accusations. Got... Yeah. And we love, I love uh, I, listen, one positive thing about it being Monday is uh, we get to see Manning. Manning Monday. Thanks, Judge. All right, I'll always see it again. All right, let me get this up. Okay, Miss Hill. So what I want to hear is you talking about family violence that's occurred between you and Mr. Hill. And I want, if if you can, keep, make it easier for me. Start from the most recent event and work back. Okay. And the thing is, I need you to give me specific. You can't just say, for instance, um, he threatened me. You have to say what that threat was and honor about when that happened. So make sure you focus on honor about when that happened. Because if you just say he threatened me, I'm like, okay, when? What did he say? All right. Okay. Uh, um so the most recent communication. Oh, one, second. Oh, one second. One second. One second. Sorry. I'm waiting for it to tell me my cable bill is overdue. Put their name on there like I asked. What uh, what a name. Shock, shock volt. I think that's German. Harmony, be his uh, his phone. All right, so I'm talking, uh, Mr. Hill, I'm talking to this guy. Shock volt SB55. What's your name? You're outside walking around and going in and out of focus. What is your name? What What's he doing? Did he put us in his pants. Sir, what is your name? You're outside walking around. Went black. Monkey. Shock the system. You have to take yourself off me. Ma'am. Oh, there he is. Your name's not Shockvolt SD. Uh, FYI, you can get a uh, a Shockvolt for about $5. <laughs> it is, it is a, I'm shocked a, by that. It's a wow. Uh, Shockvolt. Cases are uh, literally pennies. This guy Although is Walmart. Curve. The Shock Volt SV55 uh, looks to be about twenty-seven seventy-one at your local Walmart. Just in case you wanted to pick one up. Thank you, Flush. We just since I was just talking to Mikey about it. I, it's like uh, I mean, I pushed it to seventy-six yesterday. It just won't shut off. It's so damn hot. It's terrible. Yeah, 
it's uh, I told Chris, I know mine's going to be well north of three hundred and fifty dollars this uh, coming up because it was already Easily, yeah, right? bumping up against three this past month. So, yeah, electric bill is going to be crazy. Fifty five. What is your name? Douglas Hopkins. What? Douglas Hopkins. Uh, right, you just have to stand by, sir. And you're going to have to get to a place that is better. Because we, we cannot go through this here and with you running around and being at some strange location. Oh, my you goodness. Have to see your uh, face. You're going to have to have be in a quiet room and be still. And I can't uh, see your face. Uh, I can. But you have to stand by. I'm here in this first, okay? I'm placing you back on mute. He ain't even. I, I don't know if he can't hear her or. Trying. All right. I don't know what's Go going ahead. on with him. Uh, Miss Hill, like I said, start from the most recent event. And Welcome, Douglas. Um, do you just want the most recent event? Um, the most recent event, and then work backwards. Uh, family violence is when. Let's see. This family violence. Yes, it's family violence has occurred in the past, and there's a reasonable likelihood it's going to happen in the future. So you have the burden by preponderance of the evidence. So most recent, you can work backwards. I mean, you know, last six, eight months, and then you know, tell me why then you're scared that it's going to happen in the future. Well, it's mainly just been, it hasn't been um, physical violence um, yeah, recently, just threats of physical violence, um, harassing emails that started, or the most recent email was on February 3rd. Um, but it was not a threatening email. It was just basically saying that he was going to stop harassing me oh, wow. and that he still loved me and wanted the best for me. Um, but um, the last harassing email I got was on February 1st, uh, basically just letting me know that he's contacting my family members, um, finding out information about me, going to. Um, Basically, posted on Facebook. Um, Post what on Facebook? Her nudes or uh, uh, threats? Uh, oh, that's the best place for them. Creed, I've learned a lot of things. You can post that you're having a breakup, that you're having a makeup, that you're going to pee pew somebody, that you're going to, you know, knife them, whatever you like on the old Facebook, but dare not say anything about any politics because if so, to jail you go. Or how about in Canada about posting news? Do you see any of that stuff? Canada lets you post nudes? No, news. Oh, news. Yeah, I thought you said nudes. Uh, I was like, go on. Apparently on Facebook, you can't post any uh, any uh, news of any sort uh, in Canada now. Well, KCC, am I right? Douglas, great, uh, great, uh, great ear shot there. RJ, go get it. Uh, reaching out to my employers, um, saying that he's going to send them, um, he said, nasty pictures of me. I don't really know um, what that means. Oh, so I was right. Um, I, on I know what that means. Sunday, the 28th of January, Welcome, he said Marissa. that he was going to put a bullet in my head. Oh. Um, and in my boyfriend's head. Oh. Um, so that was the last uh, threat of physical violence was on the 28th of January. Mm -hmm. um, he showed up to my place of employment. Um, sorry, what day was that? I believe it was the 30th of uh -huh. January. Um, and they filed a police report uh, there. Um, on the 29th of January, he showed up um, at my boyfriend's home. Um, again, on the 27th of January as well, uh, showed up to my boyfriend's house. Um, and he came to my house. I was not home. I was at my boyfriend's house. I believe it was on the 27th of January. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you got something on here on the 27th about your AT&T account? Uh, yes, he logged into my AT and T account, and um, is Douglas so, in prison? Um, I, wow, that I, I can't even make that out. I'd hate to gonna, guess. Um, all right, so 
you guys have dirty minds, by the way. But that, nothing wrong with that. Uh, nasty. Going to send nasty pictures to her employer, which I don't think her employer needs to see those. But, you know. But I have noticed every time she said the word boyfriend, mm -hmm. he winces. He closes oh, he his like eyes very tightly. No wonder he's, uh, I, mean, I mean, it's hurting him, obviously, but he's probably done this to himself. I don't know. Or maybe his, she's out there sending those nasty pictures to people she wasn't supposed to. I don't know. But she we'll probably, find out. I bet her boyfriend's not happy about that. But yeah, it almost looks like a, a shed of some sort or, uh, or a prison cell. I, I, I can't figure out what that is. I don't know. My contacts. Um got my i had changed my number yes, so that he could no longer contact me and so he logged into my at&t account and got the new number so that he could still con continue to contact me he i had to block 50 phone numbers because he would just <laughs> keep creating new phone numbers to contact me 50. So i had to block 50 phone numbers quite a bit um i believe there were roughly 45 emails sent to my employer and my and my work email Oof. Not good. Sorry. That's okay. I'll give you a, I'll give you a second, Miss Hill. Let me just deal with these two lawyers real quick. So I'll give you just one second. To... Okay. Do you do you think that they were ever together though? I, I don't feel that. I feel like this is just a stalking uh situation. Well, they're they both have the same last name, so I'm gonna say they oh, were married. My god, they were. Nice uh are you sure? I know. Look at my detective skills. Wow, your ability amazing. to read. <laughs> All right, just bear it, Miss Foster. And she's yes, really Honor. cute. We've I mean, reached an agreement that we didn't want to just put on the record. Okay, Miss Willoughby. I'm ready. Hey, okay, so thank you, Miss Foster. You and Miss Barrett plan on sharing and takedown. Yes. Fair. I like that we're getting yes. a little bit of everything. Okay. Today. As Willoughby knows, I like to put it on there that um, both of you will pay her invoice within five days of receiving it. If not, to purge here or purge at Rice Street. Thank you, Ms. Willoughby. Go ahead. Who's going to place this on there? Ms. Barrett will. Okay. Oh, maybe. Um, so the agreement is that the um, TPO will be dismissed today. Um, that there is an agree agreement as to supervised visits um ms artist's um father will be the supervisor at at this point we've got to work out the details um mr artist can go um to the marital home today for one That's hour before three he has to be done by three o'clock um and the supervised visits will stay in place Let's well, thank you. And uh, yes, shall we all just raise it? It's hitting Ray hard, real hard. Uh, so, so our friend Stephen, who runs a, a newspaper, can't post anything. Like anything. It's all blocked. It's just crazy. What's up with your ass, Double L? I, am I behind on things? What? Uh, what Remember what us when she broke her coccyx? Oh, that's right. You said, is that a thing? That's right. We learned that the other day. Completely forgot. Until uh, order of the Superior Court or the investigation ends, whichever comes first. And the supervised visitations are only as to the three-year-old daughter, Araya, that has time with um, Amari um, will be unsupervised. And the one uh, last thing that I did not mention uh, to Ms. Foster is we'd like to make sure that this uh, is removed from the domestic violence registry. Uh, I think that once it's dismissed, it is. So I'm fine oh. with that. Oh, but God, I, I, I did want to clarify. So he's coming today for one hour to retrieve his clothes, his personal yes. clothing. Um, yes. not anything else from the house. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're correct. Sorry. Yeah, mail, mail. And, yeah, so, um, yeah, in his mail and um is it I don't know if there's personal clothes, personal clothes and mail. Yeah. Personal clothing and mail. Only personal stuff that belongs to him. Yes. Yes. Okay. And um are one of you going to draft this and you want me to sign it and put it in the divorce? 
it will be filed. Well, I guess it can be filed here as a dismissal and we can use it for the, the visitation will be done through the divorce. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you want that done as a temporary mm. visitation or in the divorce? Because I can sign that and e file it and e file it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Our biggest concern, frankly, is that the TPO is dismissed in this case, this action. Well, I understand that, but you need record in yes. the divorce that okay. this is the. Okay. The so put both case numbers on there, the divorce case number and this. And also, if you don't mind, please put this on like this at the um, supervised visit, something to extent is not that the two of you have agreed on it. This has not been ordered by the court, and this the supervised visit should not um, be influenced by a decision made by that superior court judge. So I don't want them to take wait, there's supervised visits. Judge Manning put those in place, you know, got it. Just look for the fact by agreement for a, for a short amount of time. Because I don't want that to, a judge to think that's what I ordered based on the decision that I made, as opposed to, I don't want them to think that this has any, carries any weight as far as what happens in the, in the divorce. Unless, of course, there's evidence that the two of you place up somehow. Because I don't want it to, hinder him any longer than it necessarily has to. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll, I, I will get that drafted um, this afternoon and over to uh, Ms. Foster. Okay, as long as you both put the um, both case numbers on there, I'll get it filed in the, um, in the divorce for both. Great, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Good to see you both. Good to see you as well. Classic Manning Take care. multitasking. Okay, so everybody yep. in the case of Artist Vanishes Artist can go ahead and leave the meeting. Quite a thank you, Your Honor. painting, Lauren uh, okay, Barrett. Hill, has thank you so much. Uh, mm, that yeah. Take care of that case. And then Miss Hills uh, looks like it's wrapped in uh, so um, this, uh, wrapping paper. I filed a police report on January 30th, and I believe he was arrested at some point. Um, not exactly sure what the charge um, ended up being. Um, he does drink heavily, and Ooh. so I'm concerned. Uh, for my safety if, if the TPO is lifted. Um, there was a domestic violence incident that he was arrested for um, in July of 2021, I believe, in um, Florida when we were on vacation. And then there were two other incidents that were not reported. Wow, it's the happiest that. place on earth. So let me ask you a question. So some of these text messages or emails that are threatening, can you, I understand they're harassing it because you got so many, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. There were, um, I think, over 500. 500 texts? Yes. I had 109 <laughs> text messages in the span of, or no, 109 missed calls from him um, in the span of a four hour time period. Oh, that's quite a bit. All right. Is there uh, a, a lot of text time. or something that you would like to show me? You can share your screen. Um, I think the. I understand that the sheer number is harassing. I, I've got that, but if there's anything specific that you want to show like, me, just tell me. Like proof. And Not how do you know that you. he broke uh, the? How do you know that he broke into your AT and T account? What makes you feel like? Uh, because uh, he admitted it. Oh, okay. Well, he sent makes... he sent me a text saying that he did it. All right. Well, that makes he it sent easy. me a text saying that he put a tracking device on my car. <gasps> um, but he also put a tracking device on your car. I don't. I never found one, and uh, I had the sheriff's office search. Like here in South Carolina, that is completely legal if you are married, by the way, including a uh, device that just records audio, it, like inside of a vehicle. I knew somebody at one time. They had a a uh, recorder hooked up in their house without their spouse's knowledge and it was recording all their phone calls and things like that and it was completely in, legal in north carolina it's legal yeah. as well yeah mm -hmm. if, if if it's uh if you're married especially yeah they were spouses. look and they didn't find one so i i think he was just saying that i had never found one but he did text me and say that there was a tracking device on my car i don't know it seems to be this thing about air tags have you checked for those air air tags no, I haven't. 
That's what would probably be more likely. Admit it. Okay, good. If you want to share your screen and just on just a couple. Okay. Um, I I'm on my computer, so the text messages are on my phone. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Can you send one to your email and then pull it up, or? Uh, probably yes. Hold on, just unless you think I can read it if you hold it up. Sometimes that's really hard. Hold it up. Okay. Hold it up. Jared Brick. Superstars. Reality series superstars. While they're doing that, why don't you hit the like button? We'd really appreciate it. Thanks. What's and they're going to change robes? Yeah, what's my can I share my email? Sure, if you got that, sure, you can. Okay, and my, it might be easier. Right. Uh, is that their reasoning by being and my eight, what, am I 27 to zero? zero I think it was. So can you see yeah. my screen? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Just to cut off some of the okay, so these are all email addresses. Email, yeah. Hill. Yes. Privacy is it's number one around here. Okay. And then anything good? This was just letting me know that he was trying to find my boyfriend's information and his address so that he could show up at his house. Not uh, okay. Yeah, okay is what that one says. Um, this is him saying he's not gonna stop and then I'm not going to stop until you hear this. And yes, I've called CPS on you. Uh, to my surprise, already was an open investigation. Oh, you need to call me. You're going to want to help me understand this. And he's called CPS. So there's on kids. Me for what I have no we even idea. heard that. No. Okay. Um. Yeah, so these are just basically just letting me know now he's emailing my boyfriend at his job. Okay. That's a new thing, emailing people's bosses. Yeah. I would have never thought of that. No. Um and this is letting me know that he's going to email my bosses at my other job. Okay. Well, he should be. Oh, he ought to be very embarrassed because hello, Beverly. Bev. Hello, Gary. Gary. <laughs> Guys, seriously, it's a bunch of mud. It was all over forth. me posting a picture of me and my boyfriend on vacation. Think, did she have the boyfriend sure before they broke up or after yeah. they broke up? Yes. That's really important. I, the way that he's mad about him, or I, I would imagine it's a good possibility maybe that she was uh, stepping out. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of just back and forth. It's just text messages, quick ones too. Um, Love that. Nothing yeah. too special. Gary, where are you? And this is him letting me know here. That one was pretty good. Though. Let me back up two seconds. Here. F what you're posting. You're effing this dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's what boyfriends and girlfriends do, right? Uh, goes on to say, I really did uh, want you back. And a day one, and all of that, but the lies and deception. Oh, and I found your bosses at blank. Oh, I think you're going to want to hear what I have to say. Found dear old shed address at work info. Maybe his name's Shad. Sh maybe S H E D. <laughs> Sheed. <laughs> You effing your boyfriend? How dare you? It's and this is him letting me know he has my phone con my phone's contact list. Okay. Um this is basically saying he's gonna call the police on my son. What's that mean fits into my suitcase? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Man in reach real fast, by the way. This is telling me that he's the master of spoofing numbers because he kept <laughs> creating new numbers to come. That's what it says straight up. Uh, and yes, I am the master of spoofing numbers, and it will be traced to him. 
Wow. I already talked to Brian about B, and now this is just what I need. You can't have that, LOL. Oh, this is getting fun by this is this is getting fun by the minute. Him in jail, start looking for a tenant. <laughs> Contact me every time I would block one. Okay. I don't think Ray understands it's over. Yeah, I don't think he's okay. It's over, it. Johnny. That makes me I have another screen over here where you're that's why I'm looking this way. Oh, okay. I'm paying attention. I'm just reading it on this other screen. Okay. He wants her back bad, too sweet. Real bad. It's a humble brag, yeah, slightly. I <laughs> today I'm giving you 1:39 p.m. B won't have a job at the end of the at the end of the day because I'm just sharing information. I'm working to get him locked up for a long time. It's due, and just he did it. Oh. Uh, somebody's name i'm working on that uh actually turns out she don't have the level of dirt but just protects b i don't know so anyways going up is that the uh is is that the the boyfriend so. name B. probably b whatever b stands for b real silent hill i mean separate Hill. okay Kutentag. That's German. Never mind. Shedrick will go with that. And P is my 15 year old son that he was also contacting and harassing. We had what? to change his number as well as oh. my older son's number. Well, that's Damn. How's that your son to get, you have children together? Or no? no, we do not. Oh, okay. Right. So it's your child. Okay. Ray ought to be happy. That's no child support, no nothing, bro. Okay. Cut them ties. It is very stalkerish. Right, Jim Jim. Jim okay. Very stalkerish. I like this one. You've been with way more dudes than I have women since our marriage. Wow. Since uh, the marriage or since the end of the marriage? That's what it says. You've been with way more dudes than I have women since our marriage. My shit only started in 2020. Your def, def, deflection, your def, deflection won't matter because I'm on to it. But we will divorce and good luck with all that. So end they're both like, allegedly stepping out. End up like your grandma. <gasps> Not grandma. You know what? I won't. I just want to accelerate this divorce and for you to stop playing with me. Hello, yeah. you. You're nothing to me for real. Uh, Ray, I Ray, nobody's believing that, Ray. You Corey you, says that was a lie. Can't stop texting. Uh, I don't know nothing about it. Let's see if there's anything else uh, good there. No, a lot of stepping out. Not good. If you're gonna yep. step out, get permission. Okay. Spoof Master General. <laughs> oh, we might have missed a decent one there. She wasn't lying. There is tons of messages. You're out here telling people you pay my bills and cover my insurance with my money. And after exploiting me like you have, liar, <laughs> you need to do more. Admit you're a liar. I hope that's the topic of your therapy. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he's got to let go, Ray. Okay. And then that's the last one I received from him. Now, I'm not sure if it's just the way that these were sent over or not, but there are no replies. I'm wondering, I bet you she didn't even reply to most of these. Yeah, but I'm yeah. guessing they just come rolling in. She didn't reply to a damn one of them. Yeah. They did bring Granny into it. Okay, thank you. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Hill. I'll hear from you. <laughs> hello, hello. I, I, I still, I'm married to this woman. We haven't filed a divorce. Uh, I'm still 
I've, I've still wanted to reconcile our marriage. I thought we were. I didn't know about the boyfriend. I did not react really well about it. I found out that everyone but me knew about the boyfriend. Yes, I was drinking at the time. Um, I, I mean, this woman, no harm. I talked a lot of crap. I've had a pattern um, through drinking, through communicating to her by um, drunk text. I've only wanted to talk to her. The blocking stuff has probably, because um, she's blocked me off often. Um, and I've, I've, I've just wanted to sort out our marriage and talk. Um, I, I don't mean this woman any harm. I talked a lot of crap, even Is that a smoke the part about um, that I had information. I never did. The tracking stuff, it, it was all really, um, to be quite honest, drunk talk. I, I, I had um, I, I had her brother who I was talking to through that period while I was drinking, um, not, in, not directly encouraging me, but, you know, um, uh, I, I was going through, I was just going through feeling devastated by this because again, you know, I, I, out of this, I, I will respect whatever this court says. I, I, I want <laughs> nothing but the, the best for um, Marissa. I, I've, I've loved who I considered our son. I'm, I'm in deep regret about what I said to him because she knows I, 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 I love him and I've been the only father that he knows. Um, I've just been devastated by this and I, I acted horribly. I don't know what else there is to say, um, but I, I, I will respect the wishes of this court and, and, and her. I, I, I wish her the best. I, I, I had hoped that I could be, be the best, but I can't. You're not even going to confess your love, Ray? Ray, what about that smoke detector we just heard? Anything, Ms. Hill? He's got alcohol to drink. He ain't Anything got time to put a B. Or what are they? Uh, um, no, not at this time. In God. Okay. Well, I mean, you can apologize now, but <laughs> you're, still you're, you're still going to have to uh, have this TPO in place because, you know, <laughs> me, I don't know if you're making excuses or apologizing, but you know, there's been plenty that have done that. The next thing you know, is up to seize. And I'm going to do everything I can to keep that from happening. Now, her boyfriend or whatever, he's grown. He, I mean, if you start contacting him and her son, they're also going to try to see the TPO. Stop breaking into her stuff. All this is not going to look good for you in a divorce. Y'all both look young enough that y'all are supposed to move on from this. I understand. Heartbreaks are hard, but this isn't how you react. You call your buddy. Well, Judge up. Manning, in all fairness, one of them did move on. <laughs> <laughs> one, one of them has gone with that game plan. Uh, right. I will say this. Alcohol has played a huge part, I'm sure, in this marriage not making it. No. There's no way it can yeah. survive when you got one person that's a rampant alcoholic and one that appears not to be. Um, drunk texting, never a good idea. Never. Drunk sex. And drinks and crap. Right. But you need to leave this hill alone. So if both of you would place your email in the chat, we will send you we got another one right after this. this order. Make sure you check your regular email and your spam. Okay. Okay. Thanks Ray knows all about that. Have a good weekend. She seems Thank very you. nice and laid back too. I this I that see feeling. Back. That way she's a very nice looking lady. I mean, I Ray's he, and I he had it all, Daddy. He's even got a fan down there. By I the saw seat. that. Yeah, from the below. I need that for today. I mean, oh my yeah, gosh! Got up for the chase. Okay, we got one more. I, I taught her how to unmute. So Miss Culpepper, just click that oh, little Ms. microphone Culpepper. to unmute. We saw Hi, her a second ago. Lindy. Okay. Um, let me see. He was here. I don't know. If Seriously, I like that idea, like so airplane mode, but it's drunk mode. He's off. Or you got like okay. those ears of test to start I'm letting in is him. So the guy we had problems with a while ago getting his oh. name and everything is the guy that now, uh, responded for this. On at the same time? It might mess with her because um, her Wi-Fi is pretty bad. So it might mess with the audio, but Ms. Culpepper, try to turn your camera on. Hold her hand through My this. camera. One. Mm -hmm. The little video button. Hey. I don't think Miss Culpepper's young enough to start over. Hello. We can hear. Hello. You. We can start the video. Oh. Uh, awkward. 
Huh. This is a good time to do this. Mailbag. Do you see the little video button next to the microphone? It looks like a little yeah. uh -huh. Just click that button. You had your camera on before. Hello, hello. Hello. Caller? Man, I, I, I'm uh, here. She, she's got it. I, I've, I've got faith in her. Hello. I can see you, ma'am, but you still have to start your camera. I have to be able, I mean, I can hear you. I have to be able to see you. Start your camera. <clears throat> Maybe you're asking too many <clears throat> questions. Is this, is her name Debbie? I see the judge. Deb, Maybe. I, I know you see me, but I've got to see you. I don't, I don't see why, I, I mean, what? What this? Very. Oh, there she yeah, is. Oh, you Hi, did it. Raise your right hand, Miss Culpepper. No, I think just old. Uh, Raise your right hand. Right hand. This one. There you Whatever go. Whatever testimony you're about to give is the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. <sighs> I miss have, Manning all the time. Do we have video now? No audio. You know, is that where we're at? Uh, you can't ask for everything. Yeah, pick your battles. Uh, you gotta remember the guy that had all the trouble earlier is the guy she's trying to get the TPO against. So I mean, they're, they're a couple. Um, Probably should you have to nod your head or give me a thumbs up in the court. Ms. Hopkins was she here. went away. Or she just leaves. <laughs> okay. Did she not? Oh wait. Okay, there she is. What the world? So uh, good. Here, you see, it says she doesn't have. Miss Free looking oh, great as always. Yeah, look over your co host. You see over there, I'm a participant. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right, let me, yeah. let me tell her to, how to get back on again. Culpepper versus yeah. Vokshock. Mm -hmm. are, we, are we ever going to see this one? Or? Yeah, yeah. We just got to let her, yeah, she got to get it right. Let's hope to God she doesn't have to email anything or has any uh, <laughs> share her screen. I've got 52 pictures I want to show you. <laughs> right. She can't get it going, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me the high sign? Seriously, though, imagine, you know, having a whole docket. You know, some of them are going to be longer than others. And you having to deal with this stuff makes me not. It would make me nuts. Just I, it's still got to be easier than doing it in person. It's got to be right. I, <sighs> Convenience wise for everybody. Ah, the one thing we used to say is about all the all the lawyers, all the people that are uh, you know there for the case. Yeah, I I still think this is easier. I would you can't use the excuse of oh, I didn't have a way to get there or anything like that. I think from just a, a, a lawyer perspective or from any of the prosecutors, any of the attorneys, any of that. All that traveling to courts yeah. and stuff and you gotta be able counties. To do more and more. Uh, I would imagine clerical wise, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I still think it's it's much easier. I it, it seems like there are staff. Yeah, she may need to log off and log back on so I can get at least get her audio. Done. At some of these courts, yeah, that's where what I'm they're her. able to do this stuff ahead of time before mm -hmm. they get to this point. You know, I would think I would want. I would want need as much staff on. either, right? You could really cut back on the costs. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. I, yeah, I can't. Yeah. Uh, Gary, grab a quick nap. Miss Free is like the guy. Uh, I, I watched that video too, the dude that was sleeping through court. Yes, that happens so often now. I keep, crazy. I keep seeing it. Are they both working to try and get this woman on? Look at them, they're like, it looks just... <sighs> yes. That's another thing that it helps too, is people not having to face people or each other. I think it'd be uh, easier to talk, right? 
Like, especially on, if you're in a case like here. the one we just heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have to face your, uh, the person that has done things to you, made you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You could maybe speak a little more right, freely. Uh, that KH, making great choices. Um, so, so that, that's a no hitter. That one, did, not Ragumong. There's only two auditors that I watch. The other one just cause is in uh, where I grew up. One thing that he makes a point about uh, when he goes into uh, uh, police stations is if they have a form that you can walk in and get an officer complaint form and walk out with it mm. and or that you're able to do that online. A lot of them, and, and I, I agree with him on this point, a lot of them will say, nope, we don't have any of that. You just talk to uh, this sergeant or whoever and you tell that doesn't listen if i'm complaining about a cop i don't want to stand there and talk to a cop telling him about what uh all the complaints yeah, go get me the guy that works at the snack bar i don't know him he's right. definitely not biased and yes you can testify in your underwear and just pee whatever. or stream in your underwear Either and one. smoke and drink and we've watched guys cook burgers before mm, juicy deliciousness they were pretty good because they need two I'm, I'm not mistaken yeah two yeah he knew he's going to jail that day Oh, speaking of Jeopardy, that thing with Greg was great, by the way. That I watched the whole yeah. thing. Thanks for uh, re-uploading it on the Discord. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Manning. Oh, God, I miss Manning being on all the time. Yeah. Okay, I just got off the phone with her. Taught her how to unmute again, so hopefully. I'm hitting a little ask to unmute button, which usually sends a little message. Manning's at the point now she just... Can go ahead and just take audio. She's already seen her swear in. Oh, that's a good point. It's cold pepper. Now she's lost audio. <laughs> Is she not where she can go to somebody like an eight year old kid that can help her? <laughs> no, there's nobody there. Um, okay, your old kid can help her. Oh, oh, there she is. Right, hey. It's cold pepper. It's yeah. cold pepper. Just answer my yeah. question. You still want to go on this TPO? Yes. Are you still in fear for your safety? Yes. Is everything in your position still true and correct? Yes. Great. Do you know an email or an address so we can send a copy of this to, uh, to Mr. Hopkins? No. Well, you can to my address. He lives here. Wait, what? what? Wait. He's been served. <laughs> now, first of all, it's the dude that we saw in the beginning. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just wandering around. Yeah. Okay. And now we just found out that we're going to get a protection order. And he lives there. So you could just mail it here. Oh, yeah. Just into the house, baby. He lives here. Um. <laughs> I'll give it to him when he gets back home. He's out wandering around. You know how he get when he's drunk. He's been served and he still lives in the same house with her. Well, you know, <laughs> that that's that's not good. That's not good. But at this point, I think Manning don't care. Gonna... She just don't care. I mean. And <laughs> again. No, they didn't. They didn't the the, the marshal didn't did, didn't make him leave. Now why could I? He told he told him he didn't have to leave. He told him to stay downstairs, and I stay upstairs. Okay. And I understand okay. that. Okay, so Sasha, can you give it to Amber? I guess so we can. Mail a copy there, or something, or can y'all mail? I don't know. Someone mail a copy. Yes. Okay. All right, Miss Culpepper, are you still in fear for your safety? Yes. All right, we're gonna put this in place for twelve months. So uh, I think we have your email address. So we're gonna email it to you. Make sure you check your spam and your email. It'll be emailed to you later. Okay. You, I guess that meant okay. <laughs> so that's where we're at with that. That's we it. Even, look at that laugh. Amber's laughing too. I love it. Okay, so we will then. Uh, down until 12 30. Back back to to yeah, oh. that's it. Wow. He's got to send like the info to Ms. Culpepper or whatever they was, right? <sighs> that that's not how that works. Well, like, you know, yeah. it took so long to get things right with their. And he was like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can have one. 
Send it on over. Uh, I guarantee they're still living together today. I probably, I, I would imagine so. My God, that's, and then she's just gone and just look at their, look at their faces. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one. What a good way to start off the, uh, the week with, uh, none other. Oh, Manning. Judge Manning. I feel like in another life we could be brothers. Judge Manning. That's not her wife. Her wife's a, a very beautiful Asian lady. Well, that one was fun. Wow. Nice way to kick off the Monday. It was a good time. Uh, if you enjoy having a good time, make sure you go back and watch some of our uh, illustrious videos across all of the channels that you're watching right now. So make sure, keep an eye out for those because those premiere all the time. Yeah, they do. I might have to start uh, turning off notifications. Yeah, one one I uploaded uh, the other day already a hundred thousand views. Really? I saw the one at fifty k. Probably that one. Our first Manning Monday days. Express. Flusha, thank you, Toby, Georgia Peach, Melissa, Leather and Lashes, uh, Gary, Jim, Jim, and KH. Thank you, guys. Oh, them blessings. Oh, them blessings. Uh, got a great day lined up for you. If you like cases, there'll be some of those dropping today. And if you like chases, oh, buddy, we got two very good chases, as well as another visit to our favorite little town called Hickory, North Carolina. So nice. Make sure you're there for that. All that yummy goodness in one creamy center. Can you stay safe until the next stream? I shall. Can you stay hard till the next stream? Uh, maybe. But you guys need to stay tuned because that's all that matters. You, me, Creed, maybe somebody else wants to join in. Stay safe. Bye. By the way, I was buying time because I clicked the outro and it didn't come on. Stupid stream yard. Yahoo!